violence in the school system. I've got a story to tell you. I've actually got a friend that's going to be on the phone. She wants to going to keep her anonymous at this time, but she's got a story to tell you about about some violence in the school system. And it's pretty a horrifying story when you find it out. And my question is, you know, after you hear her story and tell you what's going on, how do you know that this isn't happening on a school bus or anything from you? Caller, I'm going to keep you anonymous right now. You doing okay? We've lost her. Okay, we're getting her back. We've lost her and we're getting our caller back. But anyway, the story that we're going to be talking about tonight is how do we, you know, the violence in the school. We got it now? Okay, that sounds good, okay? Okay. And again, folks, we really appreciate our callers, our viewers watching tonight, and we want to hear from you. Our phone numbers are up at 866-498-6262. Caller, we've, I've told everybody, you know, sort of about your story, but I'd like for you to take it to the top as well, too. Of course, right now, you're anonymous, but you're a good friend and have verified your story. You doing okay tonight, caller? Yes, sir. All right, let's talk. Okay. Uh, this I had a, my daughter had an altercation on the school bus back here on April uh, the 20th, when it's on a Thursday evening, right. with another student on the bus. And uh, it turned out that another child had asked the defendant, which we went to court today, right. uh, why was she angry with my daughter? And she shot back at my daughter. She said, the best thing you can do, you know, is keep your mouth shut or else I'm going to come back and smack you. Now, this defendant was sitting four seats up above my daughter. Now, this is on a county uh, school bus. Yes, sir. Gotcha. This is on the school bus. The bus, the, it was that evening. The bus had not even left the grounds of the school. And uh, my daughter, she shot back at the mouth, you know, that uh, she says, you're not going to do anything to me. And she told me, she said, she got up, the girl got up, she walked four seats back to her. At this time, my daughter stood up because she had another child sitting beside her, and she did not want her to get hit. And when this girl reached her, she started wailing on her with her fist. And I saw this on the tape that was played in the courtroom today. She knocked her out. My daughter laid on the floor for five seconds before she got up and comes through. Sort of like knocked out, right? Yes, sir. Gotcha. She, she, she was laying down for five seconds because I counted. She wasn't even moving. And when she did get up, now she, my daughter did go back up to where this girl had went back and sit down, and my daughter went back up and smacked her in the face, which I told her, you know, she should not have done that. Right. She was in the wrong fire. But I could understand why she'd done it as well. And the next thing I saw was uh, she had grabbed her hair, and she was yanking as hard as she could. By this time, the bus driver and the uh, one of the other students on the bus grabbed both of them, trying to pull them apart. And that's when he called for a deputy to come out to the school. But it wound up that my daughter had her eyeglasses broken. Right. Her, her nose was bruised for two weeks. She had uppercut her. She had also broke her front left tooth in the corner. And uh, the only thing she remembered was somebody hollering at her, oh, my God, she's bleeding. So we're talking here again, a bruised nose for a couple of weeks, a tooth that was broken as well, too. Now, when it comes out that we find out, of course, the court system works in its time and fashion, there was a video camera on this school bus. And remember, folks, this school bus is still sitting at the school when this happens. The school bus isn't even in motion at this time. There was video to show all of this, but we find out that this isn't the girl who attacked your daughter's first brush with a father is it? No, sir. Come to find out that she had, this was her second fight on that bus uh, last year, and she had already had two more fights within the school that year, and this was her that was her first year at the middle school. So this, we're talking this child has been involved in a total of four fights in one year, yet she's still allowed to ride on the school bus. She, um, after that incident happened, right. he was suspended for the rest of the year, and I was also told 
that she would be suspended from that bus this year as well. Well, today her father said in court that uh, he had just been keeping her off the bus this year until after this was all over with. In the meantime, today I called the school principal about this, and she I had left a message and told her to call me back immediately. I needed to know, the bus driver needed to know, because the judge ordered a no-contact rule. Right. And uh, the lady did not call me back until after 3 o'clock. She did not have the records. She couldn't remember. So, therefore, she will probably call me back tomorrow. Gotcha. Now, you said that you went to court on this. Now, of course, this happened, you said, back in April, I believe? Now, of course, we had some contingency, and I'm familiar with this case, folks. I just want to make sure that everybody knows I'm trying to, because this is a juvenile matter, I'm trying to keep names out of this to do as much as we can for the protection of the system. But, of course, through the, with the video that came on the bus, they, the Halifax County Court System, so, well, there's the county, the, the, the court system had problems reading the tape, the videotape. They finally got it, and you went to court. And remember, this is late August from back in the April time frame. Now, the judge did pretty much drop the hammer on this girl in court, correct? Yes, sir, he did. He come down hard on this girl. Including a curfew? And, yes, sir. Right. Uh, I have my notes right here. Uh, she pleaded no contest, and... Uh, out of the judge's own mouth, he let it be known that she had a long history of violence. School records were pulled. Uh, she has also been placed under advisement for 18 months. Uh, she will be on probation for 18 months. She has to pay restitution. She is on a curfew during the week. She has to be at home at 7 o'clock at nighttime on the weekends at 9 o'clock. She also has to write a letter of apology. Uh, and he looked at her and he says, and I do not want to see you write the words, I am sorry. He says, and you will rewrite this letter until I am satisfied with what you have written. Gotcha. Well, you know, the problem that I've got with this, and I'm going to want the callers, as soon as we come back from our break, we're going to open up the phone lines and we're going to talk more about this. And, of course, you'll be able to watch it as well, too. The problem that I've got with this is there were at least had to be at 30 or 40 other kids on that school bus, and they had no idea that at that time a girl who had already been in one fight on the school bus and two fights in the school system was on there. Quite frankly, that's a time bomb just waiting to explode. Explode, and your daughter was the unfortunate victim of that time bomb. Exactly. You're exactly right. And that's the kind of outrage that I've got for it when it comes to the court systems. I know that the juveniles, and I know that they should protect it, and everybody should have the rights as well, too. But is it fair to the other 40 people on the bus and to the parents like who we're talking to right now to realize that one of those 40 people could be the same person that's been in two school fights and one school bus fight as well, too? And that's the questions we've got to answer. What we're we're going to do here is we're going to take us a quick break. Look, hon, I really appreciate you calling in, okay? And you keep watching. If there's anything, my phone numbers are 866-498-6262. And if you're in Reedsville, it's 349-5594. It's Star Talk, and I'm Bruce. And as you can tell, I've got some opinions on this one, and I want to hear from you as well, too. We'll be right back after this. Okay.